Hey there, Super Spaz here, and welcome back to Long War Beta 15 Iron Man Impossible Semi Qualified. This episode, we're going on a swarming uh, roadway abduction in Buenos Aires, South America in general. I, I don't actually. Is it Brazil? It's not Brazil. It is, is it Brazil? It's got to be. It's not it's Chile. No, it's not Chile. I don't know my South American. It's Argentina. <laughs> That's not Argentina. This is Argentina. You didn't even know what Argentina was. All right, no, never mind. We're just gonna get into this. Uh, ignore my geography skills. They're not good. Buenos Aires, Brazil. Uh, come on, super spaz, get it together. Let's just go save these Argentinians in their soccer. Touching down. All right, aliens. You're not gonna know what hit you. We're moving into Argentina oh, next. Oh damn it! The threat there seems to be the most pressing. It's the dam. That's all I could say about that. I think the last time we had this mission was like near the beginning of the game. And now here we are with snipers and lasers and it's all good. We don't have concealment scout though. That's that's a pain in the ass. I should probably start preparing for deluge action. Hey Annette, you in there? Can we uh can we just get you out now? Ignore that whole fiasco. I know you're waiting and I know you're being patient and all, but really it'd be cool if we could just we could just skip all that. I think this is exactly how it went the last time. Aye, aye, Commander. Let's go up to here. Great, we can just hide behind this full cover like cowards. I'm the way on, I like Commander. it. Welcome, Jonathan Self uh, and Ethan the Wanderer. You are now uh, part of the fold. You are in on the move. in the squad. This is your first debuting mission as rookies, kind of. On the move. That's what you are. You are rookies, yes. Now I probably don't want to move the sniper too close to there. I could probably move her here. Now I I don't even know if I can move her there, and it's okay. I have no idea. Copy that. I don't know what's okay and what's not. Mac, of course. Of course there's Mac. Why wouldn't there be Mac? It's Thin Men. We need Thin Men corpses. They need to stay alive. Alright, uh, let's huck a scan then. Or the sniper can. But I think here would be... Ooh, meld. I see meld. So that, that does still work. That meld scanning is absolutely valid. Here seems fine. Here seems like a good place. It'll let me know if the sniper can move up without being totally wrecked. What do we got? Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's, yeah, oh yeah, oh no, oh no, 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 what do we got, like seriously, where's that other pod, so they're all right there, that's Thin Men, that's Mectoids and Sectoids, that's, that's not what the kids want, I do know that I can get up to here at least, without there being any issue, so that's nice, so I may as well start doing that, Roger Dodger. Uh, since this is where our sniper is going to be staying pretty much most of the map. That's pretty much the best place you can be. Wow, I'm just missing these thin men by like... By like that cover, aren't I? Like that is all that is sitting between me and these thin men. That's scary. That's not what you want. Where do I put the Rocketeer? I don't want to put the Rocketeer here because she might... Well, not necessarily, right? Because if they stay there, I can activate them with a Shredder. That could be good. I don't know how I'm supposed to get that milled. Oh, I guess I could crawl up on the... There. The Thin Men shouldn't see me because there's full cover in the way. Theoretically. Theoretically, their sight range should not extend beyond... Uh, this tile here. Though it's very hard to tell. Theoretically. Theoretically! I should be fine if I move the Rocketeer here. Theoretically. I should be okay. On the move. Theoretically. Theoretically. Theoretically, everyone. Theoretically. All right. So we should focus on this left side. No bullshit on the right. We're not. We're not doing that. Nothing to get us killed today. Moving out. If I can just Overwatch trap them, that would be perfect. Yes, Commander. I would be rolling in happy times if I could do that. Though that is difficult. You already threw your battle scanner. Got it covered. Iguardia. You threw Overwatch. I suppose you can Overwatch too, Junkyard. Why not? On my way. The question is, how are we going to engage them if the Thin Men are right there? Overwatch. That seems Aye. rather difficult. Always peeled, Commander. Roger. Always peeled, Commander. Okay, they're moving away. So I guess we can engage the Thin Men first. If, well, depending on how far they go. If the Thin Men come toward us, or they stay, or what? And the other question is, do we activate the Thin Men with a rocket, or what, like, what do we do? We can grenade them, I suppose. 
Uh, depending on where Ethan the Wanderer can get one of them grenades. If he can get up there where the scout is now, that would be nice. I know if I go here, I'm activating the Thin Men. Uh, and I know I can't really get too much farther up this way without activating the mechs. I can get to here, maybe. That might be a good grenade spot. I'm rolling. Steady it up. Uh, I mean, depending on what shots you get. I mean, if you can just take out one of these Stimmen right away, that'd be great. But I want to see what those mech are going to do first. If they're going to move back into us or what? I know the Thin Men probably aren't going to move. Which is nice. If they, move far if they move farther away, then I will go for the Thin Men. I will be confident that I can do that and I'll have enough range to move around. And we won't have a bad time. Depending on what the Thin Men do. Depending on if they overwatch or what. Now, I can't, probably can't get by that way without doing that. But, oh right, you need a battle scanner out to actually do that, don't you? Well, that's no good. I mean, you are steady, so you could probably just hit one through cover. And we did autopsy thin men, yes. I would say go for this, uh, and then if you don't activate the thin men, huck a grenade over that. Copy that. If not, then we activate thin men and then we just kill them. Alien object in sight. Hello! Hey, fuck you all! I mean, I said I didn't want to blow the Thin Man up, but I say a lot of things, and to be honest, it's just too good to pass up. It probably won't even kill him. Probably won't even kill him, honestly. Probably will just, like, it'll hurt him a little bit, and that's it. That's all. Uh, it, it probably won't even kill him. Like, we don't even have to worry about killing him. It's really just that easy. It won't even kill him. It won't even kill him. I won't even kill him, he says. They won't even kill the Thin Men, whose corpses we need. Won't even kill them. Won't even won't even hurt them a little bit. It's fine. It's all good. Uh, see, they're all resting peacefully after we shot them and didn't blow them up. Probably won't even kill them. Back in. God, that's one for the that's one for the history books right there. The old super spaz highlight reel. If I ever get around to making one of those, because I sure as hell don't know anybody who is going to. <laughs> I mean, what what highlights have I had? Uh, I guess that rocket that accidentally killed that sectoid, that was a highlight, I guess. I feel like I'm doing this wrong. I feel like, yes, I'm definitely doing this wrong, because now, now what's happened uh, is that I'm going to have to, oh no, Eight, you missed an 85%? Man, strike rifles are just cursed, aren't they? Like, they just don't have good luck with this shit. Oh, that's got advanced fire control and I'm standing out in the open with no cover this is good this is what I like to see this is a good time for everyone there's more thin men so hey we're not completely done yet I'm wondering why they couldn't see that mechtoid can't kill him if you don't hit him and why now I'm fucked that would that would be a good question to answer uh yes well I know what we are opening with it's that Advanced fire control is a problem, because that means he's going to be super With accurate. Pleasure. Which means I'm going to have to sprint my scout. Eat shrapnel. Holy crap, this thing is big. This is a big mechtoid. I didn't realize. I didn't realize how big it was. Yes. Yes. Uh. Yes. Right. Okay. Uh, do you have that perk that lets you... Yeah, you don't have that yet. You don't have smoke grenade yet. But that's okay. I mean, that's okay, right? Because you can still... You can still get away without being shot. Oh. Uh-oh. I'm gonna have to sprint my scout without smoke then. Because I can't leave you there. Well, Super Spaz, you can't say you won them all. Because you didn't. You did not. You, you fucked that one up. Yeah, you're gonna have to get real crafty right now. In a quick minute. I don't know how you're going to do that without dying, also. That's a, that's a big one. Well, shit. Let's use the motion tracker, uh, because this may be the last time we get to use it. I doubt a prec shot from Mayra is going to finish this thing in one shot, even with Shred. I need to chem it, too, to make sure that... Uh <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh. Okay. Okay. I see what has to happen now. 
I'm not happy about it. Uh, but I see what must be done. Regrettably. So I'm gonna do it. Because we have no choice. And it's been good. It's been real good. 8%. That's really shitty. I'm really glad I glad I sprinted. And I'm really amazed that did not just hit Jonathan Damn. Self in the that face. Fuck your advanced fire control, bitch. Okay, there's really no other enemies close, which is good. Which is real good. Uh, Fatima Savic, are you going to be able to use double tap if you move? I believe you are. I believe that is a yes. Where can you move to use it? I don't know. We'll see. Because you need to use it. You need to hollow that thing and double tap it. Okay, that's good. Double tap? Nope, you don't get double tap if you move. That's good. That's good. That's real good. That's real good. That's real good. Uh, okay. Alright. Well, since you can't see the mectoid, I guess, uh, you'll just shoot that unless we get another target suit. I'll just leave you. I'll just leave you to your business. Um, if I could also... Man, wow, gee. That sucks. That's not what I wanted today. Uh, Ronan, what can you do for me? Oh, you can't really CCS him, can you? You honestly can't do much. Maybe if you ran again. I mean, how close is the next enemy? Not really. I think... I think, to be honest, we probably won't activate anything if we run again with Ronan up there. And that's provided, like... That doesn't kill us. We have to kill that thing this turn. Uh, if, like, forget the sectoids. They're not our problem anymore. They are not. I'd love to chem it. Okay, there they all are. Uh, can the sniper see any of those other ones that are flanked? Ah, uh, you can. So I'd forget the one with one health. I'd go for that one if I were you. Let's see what sick chems we can get, actually. Possibly something good. I'm on the move. If we're, like, real lucky. Can't throw a smoke in chem, so we're pretty much just limited to chem. I mean, I know the chem's not going to work on the Thin Men, so we may as well use one here. We can kill one sectoid. Maybe two if we're if we're good about grenades. Chem would be nice. Chem would be great. Hollow, we got hollow, we got chem, we got shred on that thing. I mean, if we can get both shots off, it's as good as dead. Ish. Maybe. Well, we'll see. Okay, uh, if Kelshmo can get both his shots off... I'm sorry, wait. No, we, we only have Kelshmo having one. That's Ethan the Wanderer, too. Uh, shit. I don't know. We may have to leave you exposed to the sectoids, provided we can, like, take care of them in some way. We might be able to... We might have to blow them up. Oh, good. Kelsey killed it. That's even better. That's, like, the best thing. Well, that's perfect. Good. Good. Yeah. Crisis averted. Good job, everyone. Great job, team. Kick its ass. No, that one. Kick that one's ass. Yeah. That's right. Down. Remember all those thin men I blew up earlier? I mean, didn't blow up earlier? That was good times, really, it was. Uh, I would like to get a shot on that one that's flanked. I know you do, right? Yeah, you do, so it's gonna run. But if we grenade them, then they can't run. And then they die. I think I like that strategy the bestest. Moving. But I'm not sure. It's really a toss-up. Who do I have flanked? Can I have that guy flanked? Can I kill it? Or should I just throw a grenade and then not? worry about that. What worries me though about the grenade is that I'd be blowing up that roof and then what if that blows up the meld and then what if that blows up my cover in the future? Because that cover's really nice to have. This could be fun. I mean, it might not blow that guy up. Ah, screw it. If he's flanked, he's gonna run. If he's gonna run, he's gonna get overwatched. Possibly. Hmm. Depends on where he runs. Really depends on where he runs. If he runs there, he's gonna get acided. So he probably won't. Yeah, screw it. Let's just shoot him. Let's just shoot him in the face. Nice! Ranger! Danger! I forgot about that. Yeah, that's a perk. We could also use our smoke to try and prevent any disaster from that lone sectoid. Honestly, may as well. We have two more smokes to go. I don't think I'm going to get stuck in an extended firefight, so... Why not? Sure. He's probably just going to sigh, then. He's probably not going to get far... He's probably not going to get to a place he can flank Kelshmo. Really, unless he went like here, and he still wouldn't be able to flank him because of that wall. The only place he could flank him was like right there. That's the only way he could do it. And he's running away, so like I don't even have to worry about that. Uh, so who else has battle scanners besides our good friend the scout? I'd really like to get this meld, but I don't know if I even can. 
mean, we could use our old handy dandy friend, the motion tracker. Nah, Heading screw it. Now. Let's get the meld. When has that ever gone wrong for us? Nah, see, it hasn't. In hand, Commander. Good. Look at that. 16 meld. They have a lot. I'm scared. How do we take that guy? Oh, I know how. I know how we do it. Never mind. I don't know how. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I need to get you to that one, though, so we may as well start running you up. Who's going to be able to shoot that guy? Because I know he's right there. Maybe we'll just wait him out. Honestly. Oh, I know why you can't see. Because, uh... Duh. You have no sight on him. That would help. Well, let's see if we can get... If we can give you that, then I'll, uh... We can make something of this. He's got one health left. Who... Who's even scared of a one health sectoid? Not Mayra, no sir. She's gonna take that thing at a half cover like it was, it was just born to die there. That's right. Enemies down. So far, the strike rifle zero, sniper rifle two. Let's keep that streak going. I've got my eyes on. Okay, next turn we throw a scan. Scanning. Probably. Activate with the sniper and then use this bridge as a as a zone of fire. Or we can motion track. I mean, it's the fact that I don't have concealment is really bugging me. All right, here should be perfect. Here would be nice if we could get a scan. Eagle eye on the move. Get some idea what's going on out here. Yes, seekers. Oh, all right. Well, there's thin men too, but I don't know where they are, which makes me believe they're either even further back. Oh, no. No, no. There there he is. He's right there. There's just one of them. Can the sniper just kill that one and then we'll deal with the Seekers? Oh, no. They're... I'm sorry. I can't. I can't do that. That's affirmative. No, no. She can't. So it's okay. That's fine. I don't need you to, but that would have been good if you could have. Because that would have made things real easy for us. Well, instead, I suppose we could set up a rocket? I mean, Tunnel Todd's almost got that in the bag if we just move her up a little farther and steady her. If we, should get, if we could get her up to here, uh, that would be great. Maybe I can move Ronan out of the way and that will work. Same with, uh, same with Savick. Okay. I mean, that might just barely, we might be able to barely just slide a rocket past Roger, into them. Tracking. I don't know if it'll even work. We'll see. Apparently our sniper can't see them, so that's fine for me. Now. That's all good in the hood. I'm scared that there's a pod back there too, so I don't want to move too far forward that way. Good to go. But you never know. Roger that. Scanning. I know I can move up a little bit more and be kind of safe. On my way. At least. Roger that. Scanning. We can get our squad a little bit in position. Get them all on Overwatch. Well, now the sniper should have a shot. If she doesn't, I'll be amazed. And then we can get a rocket off on those stupid seekers. Yeah, that was perfect. Okay, sniper. Show me what you got. There you go. What can you see? Can't see the thin man? Well, that's okay too, I guess. Uh, why don't you just take out one of the seekers and then we'll deal with the thin man on our own time? I don't want to have to explode him. Oh, that meld's still there. That's pretty neat. Dead. Bye -bye. I've got a Come at me, bro. That's a boss then, man. Well, he's easily flankable, at least. Those Seekers may not be easily rocketable, but that thin man, I can flank without a doubt. Oh no, those those are shreddable. I can shred the shit out of them if I want. Do I want to? Kind of? I kind of want to. This isn't a swarming. Something's, something's wrong here. Something is lying to me. Something is very wrong. I don't know what it is. It doesn't sit right with me, though. Because apparently if I go here, I can just, just flank that Thin Man and it's all okay. Siva. No, something is fishy and I don't like it. <gasps> Kelshmo! Kelshmo! How could you do that to me? Alright, well we'll try that again. Uh, I guess we will be shredding the... the rattle. Kelshmo! Bad! I'm on it, Bad Kelshmo. That was not right of you. You shouldn't have did that. I should have hollowed first. This thin man wants to live so very badly. Uh, it's too damn bad Jonathan Self has something to say about that. And that is not today. Not too fucking day. 
Is that what he has to say about it? Because I don't actually know. Because if I do say that, and it turns out I, can't, I don't actually have the stones to back myself up, then what do I do? I should probably go here, then, and back up with Ethan the Wanderer, or Grenade, or something. And then who takes the Seekers down? That's the other question. I guess that's Tettle Todd's department. If she can just rocket them to death, that would be fine. I mean, she doesn't have heat, though, so I don't know. Well, I guess, I don't know, let's see. Do you have grenades, sir? Mr. Ethan the Wanderer? Yeah, I hope that one tile doesn't activate every other pot on the map that I've been dreading. Um, no, you can't even grenade them. So honestly, I, I would shoot this asshole. Ranger Danger? God damn it, Ranger Danger. Even when I, when I need you to be dangerous, you are not. I'll just take out the Seekers with a rocket, it's okay. As long as the Thin Man's dead, I don't care. That, anything else can stay alive, I'm good with that. Alright, assholes. You overstayed your welcome. Now it's time to die. Is this right on top of you? Yeah, it is. Boom. Have fun. In hell, or wherever Seekers go. Highlight reel. Again, I guess. Because, what the fuck was that? What kind of bullshit was that? Huh? Uh, I mean, like, really? What, what is it, blocked by air? Or maybe I was wrong and I didn't, I didn't actually know where the Seekers were. Did they just tank 3DR on that explosion? What happened? Can I get a ref on that? Well, shit, now everybody's gonna be, like, killed. So that's good. Um. Well, maybe I should just put Ronan in the thick of things. So he gets hit instead of everybody else. Yes, I did good today. I did a smart thing, you know? I really feel like I've made a difference. Uh. I really did not fuck that up aye, one aye. bit at all. That was fine. That was all good. I feel, Commander. And I really hope that doesn't bite me in the ass, because it will. Oh no, they're just gonna take shots at Ronin, which is good, because he can just tank all their shots. This is, this is nice. This is the kind of thing I like to see. That's not so much the thing I like to see. Okay, now we have to get Swifty, uh, mostly by moving away and run, oh, run through the, ooh, run, run through it, run through the acid, run through the acid, you little dumb shit. I am gonna rocket you so hard that you're not even gonna know, like, what, which way is up. Uh, provided that I, the rocket scatter does not kick my ass. Well, now we run. Now we run away. Uh, provided Mayra can get a snipe on something that is worth sniping. And then we, then we run away, primarily. That's the plan. I don't think I want to go aggressive against four floaters, two seekers, and a berserker. Not really today. I'm probably gonna do a lot of smoking. A lot of reconsidering my life choices. Will do. That's gonna be on the menu, uh, for sure, for absolute sure. I mean, I'm thinking here, probably the best place to smoke, that way everybody gets some. Uh, we have essentially what is full cover against the onslaught that is to come. Yeah, it's basically just gonna be that kind of time. Uh, and we have to kill the Berserker, so, so don't count your chickens yet. We are gonna run away, but we're gonna have to draw it into us. And not into our smoke. I probably should have thrown the smoke last. Now that I think about it. Because I don't think about things before I do them. If you haven't noticed. Uh, let's try getting it like right there. Boom. Then we can maybe shred that floater too. It's shrapnel. Okay, so with a prec shot that berserker should be near dead. Hopefully nobody panics. That's nice. Not out of cover please. That would be shitty. I think it only intimidates the person that shot it, though, so I don't, I don't think that would be an issue. Now, if we get it, get it close to Ronin, Ronin can get a free shot on it. Ah, oh, we don't have prec shot on the Zerker. That's a shame. Well, we got fuck shit up on the Zerker, so that's that's what we really need right now. Good. Always with the Zerkers. I don't know what it is. They just like sending them at me. I don't know why. All right, Ronin. Uh, well... Maybe getting a free shot isn't really worth it when you can panic and die. Come to think of it. Hmm. And you can't really get back to a place you can shoot safely without... Uh, yes, of course, because I blocked that place. I could potentially send you here. On the move. 
and then maybe give some other people some... Nope, nope, you still can't, Flavio Kelshmo. No, you just have to run. I think everybody just kind of has to run. And then hope Ronin gets... Uh, does this thing have what I think it has? No, it doesn't. It's shredded and chemmed with a close-range shotgun blast. Ronin's got steadfast, right? So he can't panic. Oh, yeah, forget it then. <gasps> you ever realize, like, you do something in an instant, and then you're like, oh, shit, I shouldn't have done that. That was stupid. Uh, that was pretty much what I just thought in my head in that, uh, in that time. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, I'm dumb. Okay, well, instead of that... I don't know, should I move here, or should I, should I just run away? Break line of sight completely. Uh, probably that one. Probably the breaking of the line of sight. Nobody's on Overwatch, so nobody's gonna miss me. I mean, getting somebody somewhere they can still get a shot off is really nice. Location confirmed. Maybe you can still see the Zerker if you go here? No, not, not really. We can, you can grenade it. You can grenade it if all else goes wrong. And Ronin really has to run away. Let's see where you can get from here. Uh, no, we'll still see a floater or two. Oh, you still see a... No, what do you see? I don't know what you see. I don't want you to see it, though. You want to huck a grenade then? And then we'll just deal with everything else at our own discretion. Don't give them any cover. Probably that. Probably that is good. So we don't have to waste Ronin up front and have him get shot and die. I just like to break line of sight completely if possible. I don't care about Berserker corpses so much. Please and thank you. Yeah. Um, can we break line of sight completely? Just barely not. Just barely we can't. Which is really sucky. On Overwatch. So I could have just left Ronin up there. Stealth mode, good. I love that. Oh, if our sniper gets got, that's bad. I may want to cons up, oh, I don't have any more battle scanners because I threw the sniper's battle scanner. He launched. He launched. He launched. That's good. That's great. How do we deal with that? I don't know if we do. They're flanking my position. No, I can see that. I can see what they're doing. Thank you. I'm pinned down. It's honestly quite all right. Well, I'm amazed Tettle Todd hasn't been taking any hits yet. I spoke too soon. Incoming fire. Okay. Okay, that's that's you know we got four floaters, two seekers, both of which are stealthed. One of the floaters is back here, giving us a hell of a hell of a hell of a time. Uh, let's get Kelshmo to shoot the only one he can see, I guess. If he's got two shots, he may as well take him. Good, get that guy to stop suppressing. We can move our Grenadier up. Uh, grenade all that shit up there. Now, we need somebody to take care of the back guy. You can run and gun him. Potentially kill him. If we're really feeling it. If we're really feeling like being good today. Why did I overwatch with you? Why did I think that was a good idea? Not sure. Not sure what, how I can answer that question. I really can't do anything up there, actually, because that Overwatch. But what can the Sniper do? I also have to get somebody back with the Sniper to uh, to help us out. And that's just 100% straight up. I would take that shot. Why not? Because, because, it, because it won't kill it. But, but, you know, you know, honestly, who really cares if it doesn't kill it? Running gun that shit. How are we going to deal with Seekers if they get to my Sniper? Somebody's going to have to do that. Let's put you here, actually. That would be perfect, because then you're in cover against it, and you can, like, help get up the ladder or something. If shit goes bad. Please die. Yay! Oh, joyous day. This is good. Now we can flank that asshole if we're really feeling it. Like, if we real feel, really feel like being dicks about it. Let's try actually killing this thing. Okay, so that's two Seekers, two Floaters. Uh, potentially... Well, I don't want to run the Overwatch, though. It's... I don't know if it's worth it. I mean, how much damage is a Floater going to do with Overwatch? That's a bad question. And then I've got Smoke, too, so... So really, what have I got to lose? Well, depending on where the Seekers are, a lot. Does the Motion Tracker reveal Seekers, I wonder? 
No, no, it doesn't. That's fair. That's understandable. I get that. I get why it wouldn't do that. Yeah, where to send the scout where he's not gonna die? I don't know. Uh, what are the Seekers gonna do to me? That's a good question. I have faith the scout can run this Overwatch and smoke. Can he do anything afterwards? Probably not. I'm on it, Commander. But I'm sure he can he can get his money's worth. Two percent. Let's see you hit that today, you asshole. I'm alright. Alright, so we can choose one of their cover to blow up. Or just flank one. Uh, or two, or or a dozen. I mean we can flank this guy, we just have to make sure that one dies, but a nicely placed grenade will do that for us. You don't really have good shots, so I probably won't take them. Talking get here and flank that guy easy. Moving out. <laughs> Probably what I'll do with her. Eh, yeah, why not? Ranger danger. Shot wide. I don't know why I try anymore. It really it boggles the mind. Why I even put effort into this shit when it just doesn't like Nah, you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do what you want. So this is not your game, I'm afraid. That floater's a dick. I'm just gonna run away from him. I'm gonna toss grenades at these other assholes. Yeah, I, re I really can't do anything except like Overwatch and then smoke again. I mean, I can either blow this one's. Ca I can probably just kill this one, which I may as well do, and then I'll suppress the other one somehow. Yeah, I can suppress the other one. Let's just kill that floater. I don't even care. It, they pissed me off too much. Stupid floaters. Hey, look at that! We found a seeker, and it's also, like, right fucking there. So that's good. Uh, no, instead I think I'll be smart and suppress that other floater if I can even see it. Can I even see it? Well, shit, I don't think I can even see it. I don't even think if I go here that would work because there's a car in the way. Heading to that location. God damn it. God damn motherfucker. Ah! I flank it and now it's gonna like shoot at me. I don't want that. I don't want my scout to be out there too. I may want to throw a smoke to protect Tettle Todd if that floater is gonna come after me. I don't know what to do about the seeker. I guess I can suppress it. Fuck it. Suppress the seeker. See what it does. That target. We smoke Todd. We get the scout out of there. And I rethink my life decisions. All in all, it's a, it's a Wednesday. Uh, okay. Smoke's up. If this thing actually has the mobility to flank Todd, I will be very pissed off and I will cry. That would be very shitty. I don't think it does. I don't I don't know floaters to be that nimble. On the move. Let's get you over here with Todd in case. Oh, you little dick. Are you gonna shoot again? You're just gonna get out of the suppression and shoot, or you're gonna do something even worse. I hate it when they do something worse. Come on, you little dick. Oh, he does! He does! No! Fuck us. you! <sighs> Fuck you! I hate it! I hate it! Oh, I hate it so much! Why? Why couldn't he have just died? Why couldn't we have had a good time? It's really just not... It's not even cool anymore. It's like those fucking... God damn it, god damn it, god damn it. God damn it, at least she's not dead, but god damn it anyway. Because now she's wounded for like at least two weeks. God fuck you, you stupid piece of metal and flesh, and I don't even know what the fuck else. You upset me. Yes, Commander. You upset me and I don't like you, and I don't have any more battle scanners, so the Seekers, I'm just going to have to sit in a clump and overwatch, and it's just not fun. You know, it's just not. It's Go just round. not fun when you do this to me. And now I'm going to have to get my sniper out of here, because she has no ammo, and also Seekers, they suck. Moving out. So let's get her in a place where Ronin's close by. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Who do I want to get that kill? Res could use it. Fuck you. Rolling. Fuck you. Todd, if you want to kill it, I totally understand. I should heal her because if the Seekers get to her, you know, you're a little no shit. Round. You're a little shit, you know that? You're a little piece of shit, you know that? You are a goddamn little, little asshole. You have nothing that I want, and you must now die. Dead 
Now yeah, fuck you. Yeah, fuck your fuck your bullshit. You know. And I don't I don't play the game because I want this. This isn't what I fucking play it for. Okay. All right, let's get Kelshmo and them and, and company into a place where they can Overwatch and not die. Especially overwatching any any seekers. Moving to Overwatch. And get you in a place you can heal Todd as soon as possible, but while still overwatching. I guess here's Moving fine. Out. Really just need to watch out for seekers going after Round Todd now Scary. because she's very vulnerable. <sighs> uh, yeah, yeah, it just sucks. It just blows chunks. Okay. Oh, hi. Yeah, no, I see what you're doing there. Uh, I don't like it. Not a fan. So I guess we're gonna start moving all this way. Moving. No, no, fuck you. You. Oh, that's, there's two of them. They're both right there. They're both just right fucking there. Aye, aye, Commander. So we may as well all cluster back here and get ready to die. Come at me, you smarmy fuckers. I want to see you do it. I want to see you pull I'm the rolling. goddamn trigger. On it. Because my friend Tettle Todd just got screwed Locked over and loaded. by some bullshit. Some real bull honky. Moving. I am not amused. Heal this brave woman. She didn't deserve this. New. Yeah, I'm really not afraid of Seekers at this point. They're they're pretty dead, uh, to be honest. On my if way. they come at me all at once, I mean, it's just going to be... Lock and load. Overwatch. Good to go. Let's reload you. I could grenade them and I could, we could finish them off. On Overwatch. Roger that. I'll just pistol watch Scanning. instead. Because I already overwatched everybody. Jeez, Louise. I would have, if I had positioned somebody on that truck, you better believe they'd all be dead. Die. Uh, little dicks. If another one comes, I'm going to be really pissed off because then it's probably going to actually injure somebody. Or just strangle them for one damage. That's fine too. I don't mind that so much. You know. Uh... I mean, what, what are we at here? Who who needs some kills? Ronan really doesn't. Uh, I suppose Ted Rez should, because he's the one in most dire need of them. Or Savic? No, Savic just got promoted. The newbies, they'll, they'll live. Uh, Tettle Todd, why? Why did you have to do it? Kelshmo. You're getting close. You probably won't kill it, though. You'll honestly probably just maim it. Which is perfect, because then Ted Rez can hit it with a pistol and then kill it. I hope. I really hope. Because honestly, Seeker DR is bullshit. Seeker DR is a bunch of horse shit, and let me tell you why. Because they shouldn't have that much. Ah, oh, fuck it. Ronan, just kill it. I don't even care. Seeker DR is bullshit. And let me tell you why. Let me look. Let me just show you that number right there. It just tanked five out of... I, you know what? I can't be mad. I, I have a... I have a... A tanky stuff. Like, hey, hey, let's let's it's a little joke. Let's have a little jokes jokes time. Let's see if a ballistic pistol can kill it. No, I can't even hit. That's the sad part. That is the saddest part. Firepower over here. Damn it. Okay. All right. That's good. That's real good. Uh, because that means we have a lot of shot. Hey, Ruin's got another shot left, so he's got a guarantee kill in that thing. Oh, let's give some of the newbies something to do. Like maybe the medic, because medics don't get a lot of kills. Moving out. Yeah, that seems good. That seems like he can probably kill with a carbine, right? I'll bet. <laughs> I, I I actually want to see if the seeker the makes it through this turn. I'm genuinely curious if none of my squad can actually hit this Moving thing. What if I city. stand right next to it with somebody? What if I stand right next to it with two Better people? All right, let's see if a shatter ray can do the trick first, because I know the Gauss auto rifle or the Gauss uh, machine gun will. Okay, there it is. Mission one damage. I did one damage to it. That's all that needed to be done. I quit. I'm done with Long War for the night. I've seen it. I've seen enough. My eyes have beheld the horrors, and I am done. But that's okay. I got two episodes recorded, so that should be more than enough for your eyes. And then you can perceive the horror with me again when I edit it, and then when I watch it. Well, I don't really watch myself like that. That's kind of weird. 16 days. Two weeks. I was right. What a crock. Two Thin Man corpses, though. See? That's bullshit. I totally shot them, guys. Isn't that, isn't that what I... You saw. You saw me do it. We got money, we will be which watching. is good. Uh, I guess I can afford things soon, can't I? 
Yes. I can afford, like, mech augmentations and suits and things. I can actually afford a mech. Oh, but I can't get a weapon for it. That's why I was researching Advanced Goss, because I can't buy the mech weapon. Even if I had a mech, they would just have a really shitty weapon. That's right, so I shouldn't do that yet. I should still focus on my foundry projects that need to get done. Oh boy. Oh boy, I am an idiot. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm gonna save my money for now. Uh, to be honest, I think... I think I may as well. Huh. No, I, I need those. I'm sorry. And I'm pretty good on scientists. I really just need to get my... I really need to get my um, labs in order is what I need. That's the important part. How long till those advanced gauss? Nine days? Let me think about this. I don't know how long it's going to make take to make the gauss weapon. But after nine days, it's going to take ten days to make a suit, ten days to augment a soldier. So 19 days we'll have our first mech. At the earliest, I think, is when I'd be confident to say that I will do it. So by, by November, we have mechs? But what's scary is I'm not going to have Psy before heavy floaters. That's really going to bite me in the ass. So I really got to get working on that. I got to build a power facility, too. Transfer. You're going to want to take a look at oh, this, Commander. Hello. Incoming transmission from the Council. I just totally skipped out on that. We received word that the aliens are attempting to intercept a cargo shipment being transported by trucks in Argentina. <laughs> it is imperative that you prevent this material from falling into alien hands. Central will provide you with further information once your troops are on the ground. Uh, well, that's a lot of Illyrium, so that's good. Now, uh, we are confident that you will what this council this mission basically is, discretion. I believe, since it's not a bomb mission, it's basically just an abduction. Uh, like, I'm pretty sure it equi it's equivalent to a swarming abduction with no meld, and there's, like, one alien type. So if it's heavy floaters, I'm screwed, like I was saying. Uh, but if it's not, then I'm gonna gear up a squad, and we're gonna see you on the other side, so give me a second. Alrighty, so this is what the squad is looking like for this, uh, for this council mission. We don't even know where it's gonna be, that's the thing. <laughs> So, uh, we got Madam Boom, Hellscorn, coming with us to provide cover destruction. Uh, we got Aaron Beale to provide Shredder, mostly, for the most part. Uh, One Piece Ship to provide shooting and suppressing. Unfortunately, there's not enough scopes to go around. I would have given her a scope, but I'm just gonna go with a battle scanner. Hopefully, accuracy won't be too much of an issue. It's probably gonna be an issue. We got Weirdo with the motion tracker, and of course, her scoutiness. And a new face in the assault tree. We got Ben Padden coming in on this one. So, uh, I, I mean, it's a dangerous life, but I think you can handle it. I have also modeled you in the in the way of True One. Because we have, already have our covert operative scout. That's Lanius. I mean, assault. That's Lanius. Uh, and then I have two tank assaults, so I'm going to make another basically glass cannon shooting. I mean, ro look, like, look at what True One's been doing. He two shots berserkers. That's not something you can just like say, oh, any class can do that. Nah, man. Crit assaults. That's where it's at. So you're gonna be one of those. And you've got pretty good health, so you can actually back it up, I think. Mobility is also not as big of a deal on them either, because you're gonna use run and gun with uh, aggression or whatever, whatever that perk is. Uh, what, what's the perk? Let me, let me look at the perk. It's, uh, no, it's killer instinct, yes, because that doubles your crit, basically. Or just adds 50% to it. Yep, so, uh, Cal Budwine, sniping, I'm giving you a full-length sniper rifle, because I don't know what to expect out there, and that's just gonna be a little more efficient, I think, than a, than a not full-length sniper rifle, but we'll see. Karen Hartman gonna be leading us on this one, kind of. Well, anyway, she's, she's a good infantry, and I think we can use her. And PlayStation Vita Kern's providing a med kit and some smoke. So, yeah! Woohoo! Go team! This is gonna happen. Oh, right, uh, I should get a revive medic, shouldn't I? Oh, uh, and you're just so close to that, aren't you? Oh, no, 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 you have it. Oh, this is perfect then, because, uh... Or maybe I should give you another med kit. So in case somebody does go down, we can actually save them, because revive is almost necessary for council missions. That uh, That's why I subconsciously brought him, I like to think. Uh, because if somebody goes down on a council mission and you fail it... Well, I guess if it's an escort. This isn't an escort, so we can't really fail it. Never mind, forget what I said. Uh, but it's good to have a revive medic on council missions for that reason, because you can fail them. And if somebody's out of commission, you got to get them back up and into the evac zone. So anyway, thank you for watching this episode. I hope you liked it, and I hope you'll join me next time. Lick this video, become a scribe, and uh, I'll thank you later. <laughs>